we're going to go ahead and review Avast Free Antivirus 2015. Now, let's see what PC Magazine had to say about it. It is one of the most popular antivirus programs. PC Magazine tends to like them a lot. But let's see what they got to say about their free version of 2015. They say the pros start off with the negative. <laughs> Network protection, scan detects, home router security problems. Actually, pros. Sorry about that, guys. We're starting with the pros. Network protection, scan detects, home router security problems. Good results in malicious URL blocking tests. Includes numerous security related bonus tools. That's good. Scans for missing patches and sketchy browser plugins, which does a really good job at doing that. The cons, uh, it's got mixed results from independent testing labs. Mixed results, that means, you know, uh, some results were good, some results were bad. Some bonus tools, not fully effective without separate purchase. So this free edition is not going to have everything. Phishing protection, lags behind browser built-ins, those are the cons. Bottom line, they say, is the new home router security check-in check -in, uh, is brilliant in this new 2015. So you can actually check uh, your router security, which is awesome. And this area has been totally overlooked by most vendors except for uh, Avast. So Avast is one of the first to look to actually do that. They say, however, the product central antivirus protection is just average. Let's take a look at Avast. So here it is. Right now it says I'm protected. I'm using the free edition, free antivirus. On the overview, you can take a look at the smart scan fu function here. Just go ahead and click on it and see what it does. It's just going to do a smart scan, which might take a while. It's going to stop that. Let's go back to the overview. It's got the browser cleanup feature, which is really cool because it shows you all your browsers. For example, here is Internet Explorer. Here's Chrome. And it tells me that I, right now I have the Viper Search Guard toolbar, which installed when I was reviewing Viper Antivirus, which didn't do very good in my review. All right. So let's go ahead and click on Remove. I want to remove that. Click Yes. Click Yes. If you get a security message, click Yes. And it has been removed. Google Chrome doesn't have anything. Let's go back to the overview. Now, a bug I found in this program, when you're going back to the overview, I'm clicking not doing anything so I'm just gonna exit out of this now we're back to the overview here let's take a look at the home network security function we're gonna click on scan network alright it's scanning the network right now this might take a while All right, so it's done scanning. It says my network router is set to a weak password. My username is admin, blah, blah, blah. You know, everybody's freaking router is admin. And then my password, you know, I'm not going to show it, of course. But uh, my the risk that it found is that hackers can connect to the router and modify our network settings, even disabling internet connection, which is true. This is really cool about Avast. It gets into this. And it lets you go to the router settings, which I'm not going to click on because it might show my password. But it should go to the router settings when you click on there. Okay, guys. Now let's go ahead and take go back to the overview. Let's see what else we got here. We have the Secure Line VPN, which is nice. Virtual Private Network is what VPN stands for. This does have a membership fee though. One month is billed $7.99 every month. Give you a one year subscription for $59.99 every 12 months or two year subscription $89.99 every 24 months. You can, uh, you can try a free 30 day trial. Let's go ahead and try that real quick and see how it works. And it's installing the driver right now. We're going to go ahead and test this out real quick to test the VPN. All right, driver is installed. It says it's connecting right now and we are connected. So, it, on the internet, it's going to come up as me being in San Jose. Now, let's test this out real quick. Let's go to Google. Let's go to what is my IP address. And let's see if it really is anonymous now. It 
says I am in Utah. And that is not really where I really live. So it looks like my IP address did get masked. That's awesome. All right. I am browsing the internet anonymously right now. They can't collect my information. When you go to any, any website, it doesn't matter which one, cookies install on your computer. They know where you're at. They advertise. You ever notice advertisements are like exactly where you're at and stuff like that? That's because of this, because they know where you're at. But with thanks to Avast now, it says I'm in Utah somewhere. But in reality, I'm not. But that's awesome. Now I have privacy now. The moment you disconnect, though, I'm disconnecting now. Your IP address is uh, not anonymous anymore. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the scan function here. You can scan for viruses. You can do a quick scan, full scan, removable media scan, folder, and boot scan. All right. You can scan for outdated software. So if you have software you don't use anymore, you can go on here and delete it. Software that's whoa. What did I just do? Go back to the program. All right. So here, uh, these are my outdated programs, and I could choose to uninstall them. For example, like the VLC Media Player, I never use that. I never use Opera. I could uninstall those. All right, guys. You can scan for network threats, which we did that a while ago. It's the same feature. You can scan for performance. Uh, what the hell is that? Performance issues. You can uh, modify unnecessary apps, modify system settings, stuff like that. And that will speed up your computer. Let's see what other tools they got. They got a browser cleanup tool, secure line VPN, which is what we just tried, remote assistance, if you need that, access anywhere, rescue disk, sandbox, which is uh, if you want to test a program or something, you could test it inside the, the sandbox and it will, uh, won't affect your computer. It will just stay inside that sandbox. That's why it's called sandbox. And that, that's really a really useful uh, feature if you like to test out programs that might mess up your computer. There's also the safe zone feature here. And you can select, you know, what uh, what zone you want to be in, what you want to do, and it'll do it for you. All right. And there's also a firewall in this program, and you can also modify it from here also. And then the account tab, it tells you how much uh, you can you can make an account in the account tab but more than likely it's going to try to make you upgrade and you can look at statistics see how many viruses you've gotten and so forth stuff like that alright guys thanks for watching my video I will post the link on the description of the video for the download link to get a vast 3 antivirus I give this antivirus a really good review it's one of the best out there you can trust the vast again thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe I'm always uploading new videos on new software like this Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.